in the new to you fishing kitchen. We had a video a couple weeks ago and uh, it triggered a thought in my mind. Let's take a look at, I'm not going to tell you what it is quite yet, but it's a familiar but unfamiliar recipe, kind of like the uh, sesame pompano bites that we made last week. So we're going to take a look at the recipe here, uh, the ingredients for the recipe, and we have an air fryer as well. Uh, once you see the combination of ingredients, let's see if you can uh, figure out what we're going to go for today. Here are today's ingredients. Butter, hot sauce, mayo, panko breadcrumbs, blue cheese, celery sticks. Then we have to, because we're doing the air fryer, we have a little oil spray. And then, because we are using fish, pompano, we do have a little old bay. And then, of course, we have some pompano bites. So this is going to be a takeoff on uh, buffalo chicken wings. We've got the blue cheese with celery. We'll be able to dunk our air fried pompano bites into uh, the blue cheese, which will be uh, lathered in slathered actually not lathered but slathered in a traditional buffalo wing sauce and to get uh, some coating to stick to the the pompano we're going to have a little mayo and uh, frank frank's hot sauce combination and we'll roll the panko let's just get on with it i think you can see where we're going with this and uh, i've made this one other time and it was fantastic so we decide to make a video out of it. All right, for those of you that have never made uh, buffalo chicken wing sauce, it's uh, half butter, half a hot sauce. And if you're from upstate New York, you have to use Frank's. Wherever you are, use whatever you have. Um, and this will just microwave this for 30 seconds and that'll be our final uh, wing sauce for tossing. Can't call it wing sauce anymore. Our our final uh, buffalo hot sauce for tossing with our pompano bites. So we'll just put that off to the side. Next, let us uh, take our our bites. A, a pompano. We've got uh, half inch to three quarter inch pieces. Uh, if they're thinner, we make them a little longer. We've got two tablespoons of mayo. We're gonna put in another tablespoon of hot sauce. Essentially, we want to give the panko something to stick to. We'll throw in some Old Bay as well. A couple shakes of that. And then we're just gonna mix all this. Mix all this together until it's coated. Pretty simple process. This will be the base for making sure that our panko will stick and before we put them in the air fryer. You've seen us do a lot of videos on this uh, channel with frying, but we do have an air fryer and we do use it and it works great. And if you do not have one, I would encourage you to try it. So we have our pompano bites. They have been uh, coated in our mayo, hot sauce panko coating they're ready to fry it's necessary on a fryer to go ahead and do a preheat so we are going to do that preheat's done air fryer you get a free spray that's ready let's put our first load of bites in We'll get half of them in here. It takes about uh, four minutes per side. We run them halfway, flip them, and uh, 
and we'll do the next round. All right. I do like to do another quick little spray. It doesn't take much, but they do brown nicely. We're going to bump the temperature up to 400 and we're going to bump the time down to the four minutes. Yeah, we'll do three minutes and we'll go. We'll be back in a few and we will uh, check them. We'll flip them and then we'll do the second batch. Side one is done. We're going to flip these. Yes, you can, you can see those. We're going to do a quick flip. And then we will do a quick spray, respray for side number two. Very nice. Go again, 400, another three to four minutes. So batch number one is in the process of being completed. When those are done, we'll do batch number two. We'll take the two batches out. We will... Actually, batch number one is going to go in this uh, paper towel line bowl. And then batch number two will cook and then we'll toss them with our buffalo chicken wing sauce, which is now buffalo pump no bite sauce. And then we're ready to serve. There's batch number one. Those are looking good. We're not going to toss the sauce yet. So let's put batch number two in. We're done. Here's the rest of the bites. Let's get them into the, the tossing bowl with the rest. Batch one. Looking very, very nice. All right, bites are in. The next step is to take the sauce. Your basic buffalo chicken wing sauce. Half hot sauce, half butter. Drizzle. And then we will toss. A bit hot. There they are. They're ready. Let's plate. And of course, as usual, we'll do a mid meal taste test. Now, in this case, the mid meal taste test takes into account. Celery with blue cheese. We have some mashed potatoes. Last but not least, we have our air fried buffalo chicken wing sauce. Pompano bites. Sorry. You can go right into the blue cheese. Very nice. Some people like the saw the wing sauce straight up. Other people like to dip into a blue cheese. Other people like to dip into a sriracha mayo. Sriracha mayo. 
I consider that sacrilegious. You can try whatever you like. There are many variations on, and if you hear a sniffing during this video, that means the sniffing is not because we have colds. The sniffing is due to the hot sauce, and that is what it's supposed to do to you. Buffalo wing, celery, buffalo wing sauce on pompano bites. Wow, that's really good. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will like and subscribe to New To You Fishing. Check out our other videos. We have lots of gear for sale on our Facebook Marketplace site. Good night.